thought I'd do something different this week. Today is uh, Thursday the 4th of April and this weekend we're going to have a sourdough pizza. So I have the sourdough starter out yesterday so it warms, so he warms up. I fed him and then I fed him again this morning so I am going to be doing the sourdough pizza. It takes, oh well, obviously a few days but it's well worth it. <laughs> That's what we need, bubbles. Right, let him sit for a bit and have another feed. And then he goes back in the fridge for a fortnight, basically, and that puts him to sleep. So, over there is the pizza base in the bowl. I've mixed all the ingredients, got it all done. You get a wet um, tea cloth, but over the top to keep the moisture. And then every half an hour, so we'll say 10 past, um, every half an hour now, it, I do stretch and folds. So I stretch it up, fold it over, stretch it up, fold it over, and it becomes elastic. And you do that four times. And then tonight, I'll let it rest and let it do its thing. And then tomorrow, it will go in the fridge ready for Saturday afternoon when I um, make the pizza bases. At least last time um, Elmy didn't walk all over him, but he did more time before. Talk of the devil, he's upstairs with his dad a bed. <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. He, we were upstairs sewing earlier on and I brought some photographs in and yeah, he helped his mama. Yeah, there was thread everywhere, bless his heart. But yeah, asleep as well as you see. <laughs> but we're going to go and do some more sewing up there tomorrow. It's nice because I'm doing some sewing for myself. It's lovely. Right then, as I said, I'm going to pop that kettle on. So I'll see you later. Just in case anybody would like to know, this is the recipe I've always used and I got it online. And it's the simple sourdough pizza crust. And it's amazing. I've made, I say, I've, this is the only one I've ever made and I've been making it for years. So, um, here we are. Alexand Alexandra Stafford. There you go. But as I say, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, kettle. Right then, so I've sat down with my cup of tea now. Got to leave it half an hour. Go do the stretch and fold. So, it's chill time now. I've had a day in, but I've gone through the house. We had a bit of sewing upstairs, me and Elmi, which was lovely. And, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'll record when I start my new project. And I'll show you then, tomorrow. <sighs> well, hello. <laughs> Today is Friday the 5th. And, um, as you see, I'm up in the little workroom. I was originally going to walk down to the post office to post off Glenn's mum's birthday card so it's her birthday next thursday but so we still got time <laughs> and uh yes yet again it's windy and miserable so when glenn phoned this morning he said don't bother mate <laughs> he said even if we did it on monday she would get it by thursday <laughs> yes he's got a lot of faith in royal mail isn't he? <laughs> anyway right okay so yesterday afternoon i came up here after doing the sourdough, which is now asleep in the fridge. He bubbled up lovely in the night until tomorrow. And um, was it yesterday morning? My first batch of um, <laughs> my Rose and Hubble Ivory 
Okay, the second lot is coming today, so then I'll have my six meters, and also my sample pack is coming from Alice Caroline today, so that'll be exciting. So I'll open that with you later on. Right then, so I am now going to be setting up ready for the big day next Saturday <laughs> when I get my book. <laughs> and um, yesterday when I was up here, because I brought yesterday afternoon, because I had the case and I thought, well, I like the box because that would be a bit more practical for me. So I brought the box pattern from Emma Jones, which is the vintage sewing box. And she has two sizes, which I didn't realise. Yeah, you, obviously, you, you you know, you get both sizes in the pattern, but it's um you uh, either can choose a large or a small. So I've chosen the small because it'll be nice and compact and practical. And then I can put everything in it and that'll all go towards uh, everything for this quilt will go in there. And I've used the fabric. If you remember when I went to EYF with Mishka, I put, where's the, oh yeah, I brought four fat quarters and uh, this one. And um, of course, my box is going to be pumpkin. <laughs> so I've cut out all the pieces and the foam and the um, interfacing and stuff like that. And now this morning, I'm going to be um, making the little hexagon flowers for the outsides. So I thought I'd get them done. Uh, I'll get that done today. So that is that project over there because I need to get that done before the 13th. So for ready for when I start my uh, new quilt. Also, in the week, what day was it now? Was it Tuesday? It might have been Tuesday. Uh, Emma Ball has launched a load more of the Crafty Gnomes, hasn't she? Um, collection. And um, I, ordered, I brought the um, glasses cleaner, which is so cute, it's downstairs. And also, because, you know, I've got the big... Um, bookmark mag magnetic bookmark and there's a pack, pack of four tiny ones and this is one of them and that's the other side and then they open up like that and go over the page which is absolutely perfect and this one's got a little sewing needle on it look so what I've brought these for is because when I'm actually knitting like socks or anything like that or crochet especially my big blanket for instance that I'm doing by Sherry Hutt's Shelly Husband. Uh, I like to mark the pages, you see, but I, I, I'm so funny when it comes to books. I can't turn over the corners. I just can't do my, pull myself to do it. I've always used bookmarks. And these little ones are ideal for your craft books. So I thought when I'm doing this one, is going to go in my Alice Caroline book when I get it, you see. And uh, so then whatever page I'm on, I just open up and there we go. So perfect so one of them has already gone in my um my sock knitting book you know the one that i'm doing for um glenn the pairs i'm doing for glenn uh so i know what page that is um i've got one more downstairs and one has gone oh one has gone on a new project i uh cast on but i'll talk about that in another day right then anyway so this morning um we are going to get organized and set up in here just a plastic box um everything for the quilt and start uh doing the putting the um little flowers hexagon flowers together because uh this is the first time i have ever used the um, hexiform hexagons so this is going to be interesting for me <laughs> so uh yeah yeah um okay so yeah, this will be this will be a, a good learning curve. I've never used them before. So, and this one in here, because I've chosen the smaller one. This one in here, on the smaller one, on the bigger one, it's a pocket. But on the smaller one, that's using the quarter inch. I haven't got them, but I've got another idea. If it works, I will be chuffed. Why have I got dark? <laughs> lighten up, lighten up. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to this, shall we? Right then, okay, so, right, as I say, I've got this to, just for now, and in here, I am going to, these are my printable sample, this is the uh, templates that I've already printed off, this is the four metres of the background, these are the three beautiful pieces of fabric that Emma 
um, sent me. They're definitely going in the quilt. I have some aura fill for the machine and whatever um, we need um, for the sewing. I don't know yet until I get the book, do I? Hang on, you're really on the wall. Is that better? That's it. Gosh. My needle threader. <laughs> I'll probably use that again in a minute. And my tiny little bookmark. So that will go there. And then obviously like things like this and these will all go in my box when it is all finished. So that is there. So that's oh I'm so excited. Don't that look pretty? Don't that look really cool? And I'll have my lovely book on top. I can't wait to get that book. <laughs> I'm so excited. I really am. Right then, okay, so let's get to do hexagons. Right then, don't that look pretty? I am just so excited. Right, so I have got my glue pen and I've got some new refills. I managed to find them. I've had these for ages. As you know, I'm not normally a gluer. I'm normally a tacker, but tacker, tacking person. <laughs> so, uh, oops, I thought I would just go for it. Um, I'm assuming, so I don't know. Right. Oh. Oh, right, okay, so that goes on there like so. Oh, these ones are yellow. Hmm. <laughs> Bright yellow. Uh, let's put that back in there, and then I'm going to clean that end, actually. that I should have done that first, but I'll do that anyway. Right, so that's the one. That's, yeah, yeah, that's the full one, so that can go there. That will go in my... These are probably handy, aren't they, for keeping needles in? Give them a wash out to make sure they're not sticky. I wouldn't have thought they would be, but wouldn't they be cool for putting your needles in? Ah, I might keep that. You've got a better chance of seeing it, in ya? <laughs> right then. Now in the past, and I mean uh, quite a few years ago now, if you look over on Emma's um, website, she has some beautiful free patterns. And I made this little case. Oh, I just love this little case. And by the feel of it, even then I used the old-fashioned paper. Um, but if I've got enough, which I reckon I will definitely have, of these fabrics left over, I'm going to be making a new one of these to go in my box. And also she has, which is adorable, look at this little pin cushion. So, and now I've got some smaller hexagons actually. I could use, yeah, do that. And I think I'll be making another set of these if I've got time uh, to go with my box. Right then, okay, so that is all set and done. This is my new one, so that will go in my sewing box there. Right then, okay, so what well, I started doing one yesterday. Let's move it out of the way. That's uh, one of the templates. You know i'm absolutely loving this it's not very often that i actually sew up here for myself and i said to glenn yesterday i am having so much fun it is unbelievable it really is so i need that um is that everything oh my new spare one can go in there until i get it in the box when it's finished <laughs> um in here where's my little sewing case I think I have a needle. I do. So that's all fine. So um, I'll have to get my quilting needles out and see which ones I've got. Because when it comes to hand quilting, I love the big eyes. I know they're teeny weeny, but I do love the big eyes. Um, mind you, it's been a while since I've done some hand quilting. So I might have to up, my <laughs> up the length and do it a bit uh, use a bit longer i'm actually using the pony 26 um chenilles and um because normally i you would use for english paper piece and the milliners but i'm seeing i'm gonna see how this goes with sewing it together oh here we go look this was the other fabric so that i've got left so i've got plenty to make the um another one of these and i've got some foam left so and i'm gonna make another one of these Right then, okay, so when it comes to the outsides, you need one, two, obviously six. 
little um, granny flowers and I have managed to fussy cut I'm sad and I little, little um, pumpkins in the middle and then I am choosing to put this one around the outside so I'm doing all the little hexagons, the little fussy cutting first. So there's me threads. I might need the darker one actually. Thinking about it. I do have a tutorial within my playlist on how I do my English paper piecing. But as I just said, this is the first time I have actually been used have actually used these hexiforms. So we'll see what it's like. I need my pencil. Let me get my pencil. Um Where is my pencil? <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, it would help if I looked in my pencil box. Yep, there you are. Oh, there's a nice sharp one there. Or should I just use my, I'll use my, uh, my bag post one, I think, today. There's my pencil. Always have a pencil and a pencil sharpener in your sound box. Tell you, it's a little lifesaver. It really is. And I've got my little embroidery scissors, my little cat ones. So these ones are at my machine. And these are the ones I use to cut my fabric. Right, let's get organised now, shall we? Right, so I've got one. I've got plenty more to do. So let's start the sticking process. And um, I'm just going to chatter away, I think, <laughs> while I do it. So let's tilt you down, shall we? okay right then so this obviously is the front of the fabric and this actually is a Lynette Anderson I think I didn't realize that when I brought it yes it is a Lynette Anderson so um Anderson, Anderson designs so and I brought this uh, it's, it's funny really because out of all the you know going to a yarn festival and I managed to find a stall that was selling fat quarters oh, I was just so chuffed <laughs> right then so what I have been doing where is my mm -hmm, mm -hmm, hold on should be in here somewhere um there it is my little six inch by an inch ruler i do have the 12 inch by the inch because these are so handy especially the little one for when you're doing like things like this okay so what i have been doing oh hang on where is it because this will also be put in my uh, little box if there's room My lovely little uh, pin, magnetic pin um, tray that lovely Mishka brought me for my birthday. Right then, so I have, I've worked out that I can get another five out of here. So let's turn it that way. That's better because then they're facing the right way. So I'm going to put that there like so. And rather than pinning, I am just going to put... I'm sure it said that the fluffy... Yeah... I'll place the non-woven fluffy side to fabric. So on these, you seem to have which is a, a fluffy and a non-fluffy. So I'm just going to put a dab of that in there. Put that like that. I need a new blade for this so if this one don't work I'll have to get my other one but my other one is what I use for the, the work <laughs> right and then I I put a, the quarter of an inch mark on the edge of the hexagon and cut yep that's fine and obviously the glue the little dot and as you see it was only a teeny weeny dot is enough to hold it while you're cutting round. Anything to make life a little simp easier, isn't it really? <laughs> so I need oh you like so. So it's so exciting actually getting to use these. As you see I have some packets of the forms. So, oh, there's a little, little nick there. That's probably in the nick in my uh, thing. And then you see that 
Now, when it's all folded over, the hexagon is going to be in the middle. Right then, I am going to finish off and do the others, and I'll be back in a bit. Right then, okay, it is now, I've got about an hour, 10 past 11, so I've been up here nearly all morning. And I'm so happy with the way things are turning out. So, I have got my base, oops, piece of thread, <laughs> piece of pack, my base all tacked on and everything on my foamy stuff. And I have got all the um, interfacing because these are going to be my pockets. And I don't know what I've done with my linings, they're probably under here. Yeah, all that, all the interfacing's on. And I have just got the sides and put the fabric and I've just got to tack that on those five. But just so I could see what the hexagon actually looked like, let's put that behind there, um, before sewing it on, and um, oh gosh, it's a bit glary because of the sun, hold on. <laughs> Now we have sunshine, not rain. <laughs> there we go, with my little pumpkin inside. So I know I'm happy with it. Okay, now, I know you, I said earlier on, didn't I, that I, I'm a tacker, so um, I don't normally uh, glue. Now, I must admit, this, what's it called, hexiform, or he, what's it, what are they called? Yeah, hexiforms. Absolutely brilliant. I tell you what, I am, I'm hooked, I will say. And now they're left in and I will hand stitch that on and then I'm going to do a little run and stitch. And I think, oh, I do actually, in the actual spout of the, there is a little bit of green. So I might go round with my, this is my, or, or, no, it's not, it's a sulky, but this is a um, 12 um, weight. So it's the thick one. So I might just go around in that green, but I don't know if I've got any green anywhere else. So I don't know yet. I don't think I've actually got an autumnal one. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I like the green, actually. <laughs> I don't know why. I think the green might... Anyway, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. But I will hand quilt round it. Uh, or I could just use a couple of strands of my DMC but as I say right as I was saying about the um I'm a tacker now just in case anyone is out there wondering is being I'm a tacker why do I have all the tools to be a one that do that based with glue now it's because I actually <laughs> I for many many years and I mean for a lot of years I actually was a patchwork and quilting teacher um, I taught adults um, how to patchwork and quilt, basically. I also went round a lot of groups around Essex and Suffolk, and I did talks. Uh, I did all that too on quilts and quilting, on the quilts I've made and the history and blah, blah, blah. And um, I also was a representative of the uh, this area's uh, Quilters Guild. So I was, you know... <laughs> into the quilting well I've always been into the quilting to be honest so and I'm still into the quilting but yeah so I you know I was there really and so that's why because when I actually did teach I did um give the option of tacking or uh, glue basting so that's why I've got all the tools also to hold this on here without it being sewn and I've used this for many many years uh, for my like hand you know appliques and stuff like that uh, this is an old one um, I have got a new bottle as well <laughs> a bigger bottle and this is the Roxanne glue based it honestly it's brilliant absolutely amazing stuff it's got a little uh little nozzle on the end as you see and you just put a little dab so basically I have just put a little dab on the corners in the um, joins there and the, that's all you need and then I've I haven't even used it with an iron on it I have just held my hand on it for a few um, seconds and that is there secure enough now for me to sew so there we go my parcels still haven't arrived <laughs> yeah so I'm still waiting on those to come. But, you know, I'm getting there. I have my second flowers hexagons. Now I'm happy with the way it looks. So I'll carry on doing those. And then I will 
hand stitch this on and quilt round it I've got to say tack the rest of these which I'm going to do right now before lunch and then hopefully get this one sewn on before lunch and then call it quits for today so I will be back tomorrow So today is Saturday the 6th of April. This is going to be the last day I'm going to record and all this is going to go up on Monday for Monday's video. I just thought it'd be something different. Right, so yesterday I did finish off my first side and if you notice I did use the green. Oh, that's where the hex come out. There you go. And I think the green looks really smart. I have started cutting out the other hexagons for the other five sides. Also ended up getting out my rotate and cut mat because that is very helpful when you're doing hexagons. <laughs> right then, so this morning we have been out and did the shopping, popped a couple of charity shops, didn't get nothing. But today is so warm. It really is warm. But it's windy. I've already had a line full of wash and dry. Elmy got me up at four this morning. That's why I got my red eyes back. <laughs> Bless him. So we, for an hour and a half we had playtime. He, he had a brush. We had cuddles. And then up as five I went back to bed for a couple hours. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay awake so I can have an early night. In case it happens tomorrow. Oh well, we got to love him, didn't we? Also, my parcels didn't arrive yesterday, but they arrived early this morning. And so now in my box, I have my other piece. So I have my full six meters now. Of as I've said, I'm using cotton poplin this is from hubble rose and hubble in it hubble and rose rose and hubble that's it so it's 100 percent cotton but it's a poplin so it's a nice weight yeah thinner weight and let's get my little piece there and as i said the other day i ordered one of the alice caroline um it's a liberty poplin um so it's the same as the background fabric and that's in the ivory that's what i've chosen and it's you get a 36 pack of their scrap bundles basically for 10 pound and i ordered one just to see what it was like my gosh look at the size of them they say on there five by five but they often you can see they're definitely longer than that <laughs> uh yeah, it's like seven and a half inches that way and five inches. No, it's not. It's even and five and a half inches that way. So I reckon it's obviously because you've got the sticker, but can that come off? It can. That can come off. So, oh, man, honestly, I am so impressed. I am that impressed that this morning I ordered two more. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there's some beautiful ones in here. Look how pretty that is. And all different kinds. So they're just their scrap bundles. So all that was £10. And it is Liberty Poplin. Cotton Poplin. Their Liberty Tana Lawn pack, you can get the same in a Tana Lawn, is I think £14. And I thought, well, beans I'm using the Poplin for the background smaller piece and let's just fill Oop. yep 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 they're both same in weight so that will work absolutely fine when I get my book next week <laughs> so but oh I am look at that one it's so much fun oh there was one hit ones in here um where was it quickly 
No, that one, not that one. Um, but I am impressed. Because this is going to be like a multicolour quilt anyway, I'm going to use every single piece I can. But there, oh, I think this one's lovely. You'll see why. Very autumnal. <laughs> but there is that in a different colourway as well. Um, cut my nails down yesterday. What a day to cut my nails down. Oh, there's little hexacons. And was this the one? No, I thought they well, I thought they had one in here. I think I did. That's somewhere along here. That's got little um, daffodils in it. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that one. So yeah, so obviously it's potluck on what you get. So say so I've ordered two more packs. So let's say 36 of Liberty. And they've got the names on them actually. So this one is Canyon Clover. And so there's three different kinds of ca Canyon Clover in di three different colorways. There's Busy Lizzie, that's a pretty one in three different colourways uh, and so on honestly they're beautiful Ava Fleur oh Madison Sunny that's that one that I showed you honestly they're just beautiful so yes I am impressed with that so say I ordered two more so when they arrive next week if hopefully they will I will show you and as I say I'm going to be added the added these three that Emma gifted me as well. They'll go in there. It doesn't matter if they're not. I think the I, well, I know these are definitely feeling like a tarn of lawn. They feel a bit softer, but they'll be fine. They will be fine. So, yes, I was really, really impressed with that. Also, while I'm here, I'm just going to show you quickly. I got the most beautiful nice in the week. Now, where are you? Oh, sorry. From a lovely Joanne. Hi, Joanne. And Joanne lives in Alberta, Canada. Oh, how lucky you are. And I got this beautiful card <laughs> that, if you noticed, was on my um my dresser display that has got a place there. And in the parcel, these are just amazing. As soon as I opened them, I had to put them on the project. Needle toppers, stoppers, and their Canadian flags. Look at that. I say they went right on, right on the my socks. So, Joanne, thank you, thank you so much. Honestly, they are absolutely amazing. Also, which they're in the bedroom for my dear, dear friend Helen. Hello, sweetie. Um, she also gifted me the next two books in the, um, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Mm, ah, here we go. Oh. Right, so, you know, I watched, I read The Diabolical Bones, absolutely amazing book. By Bella Ellis that's it that's the word I couldn't remember well and I also read the first one the vanished bride absolutely brilliant and they're like they're detectives but they're using but the, um Bella is using the Bronte sisters and the brother uh, to do their detecting in the 1800s and let's have a look because there's two more. Oh, don't tell me this one hasn't got the two, next two in it. <laughs> I don't think it has. But they say there's two more. And she sent me the last two in the series. Oh, I've already started one. Absolutely amazing. I will say. It seems to be every time. Yeah. Every time you you read one, they get better. It's, it's so well done. So clever so so clever it really really is clever the way she do it but look this one is is more about the an orphanage and brilliant absolutely brilliant but um so this one starts because the first one is due on, oh 
I'm trying to think. Is it autumn? Yeah, and this one starts in April, but you actually go into the into winter with this one. So, and, and every chapter, because I can't really, without giving away too much, it's got, it, it, it's, you know, it's like Anne, and there it is, December 1845. So, yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. It really is brilliant. In, oh yeah, this one is the winter one. That's it. And I think the one that I'm doing now seems to be spring. And then I hope I reckon the fourth one you're going to autumn. It looks like they're doing. She's doing the seasons. But this one has been mentioned a couple of times in the third one. So it's very clever. So I would definitely recommend this series. I really would. I just and it hasn't got it on it. I'm so I'm worried about that really. But anyway. So Helen, thank you so much for those books. They were a big surprise. As I say, I've already started. I'm nearly halfway through the first one and I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So thank you so much. Okay then, right. So I am going to switch off now for the week. As I say, this will go up on Monday as normal. And I'm going to take tomorrow off and rest. What's to bet and get Elmo gets me up again at four in the morning. <laughs> See, it's brilliant because when Glenn's on early, he gets up at four. So he's have a bit of time with you before he goes to work. And he's happy with that, you see. And then he comes back up to me and go to sleep. So, but when Glenn's on late, <laughs> he doesn't kind of switch that four o'clock motion off, unfortunately. No. Oh, well. Anyway, I am going to get back to cutting my hexagons out and getting this fingers crossed i get this basket done in in the week i am um, have bought right at the beginning some photographs of some blossoms now they're actually our cherry tree it's only a small little cherry tree in the garden my gosh has that bloomed this year because last year it didn't do too well but this year oh yeah that has definitely bloomed so um yeah i think glenn's hoping to get the the grass has cut in the next couple of days. The trouble is it's just so wet on the bottom still. So hopefully if we have a couple of days without any rain. Right then, anyway. I am going to get on. Hopefully this will keep me awake. <laughs> if I start making mistakes, I'll go downstairs and pick something else to do. From where I don't have to concentrate as much. Okay then, right, so... I will be back, as I said, on on Wednesday for What Have You Been Up To Wednesday. We've already got some coming through. So, I, um, yeah, so this is it for this week. So, please, take care, stay safe, and as always, my lovelies, happy crafting. Bye! <laughs>